My name is Malin Ferris, a Dunmer from Morrowind. After a run-in with the Imperial Garrison in my homeland, I have been exiled by the local governing body, the House of Reclamations. I was to be sent across Tamriel as punishment for being caught in illegal activity alongside skooma dealers, smugglers, and even gamblers. My parents paid every septum they had in their savings to get me sent to Skyrim instead of with the other criminals to potentially set me on the right path. I now must start again in a land I have no desire to be in. Maybe there is hope for me yet, or possibly this is the start I truly needed. I'm glad to be off that boat. Ugh. Why is it so cold here? I don't understand why my parents thought it'd be better to send me here than just let me stay with all the other people that got arrested. But, can't do much about it now. Guess we just need to head up these stairs and hopefully get inside the city. I'm sure there's somewhere warm we can stay. But otherwise, I feel like we're just gonna starve and die of hypothermia out here. Oh, excuse me. There's a lot of people work at the docks. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, nothing. I just need to squeeze by. All right. Where am I? Why is it so just slummish down here? Let's let's go this way. This seems like it might lead somewhere promising. Okay, we're getting better. Quality of housing is certainly starting to increase. Okay, so everything here seems very old and made out of stone. Alright. Hmm, it's an inn. What's this? Interesting. Seems people have uh, some notices they want to post around here. Interesting, I'll have to give that a check. But for now, let's head inside. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. Uh, I'll maybe take you up on that. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I was wondering if... I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. This is a local favorite and... Uh, go back to Morrowind. I don't quite appreciate your attitude towards me and other Dark Elves. Why do you hate us? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the King, your ruler, has to ask his peasantry what they think about one of his, let's say domestic policies, or well, I guess more provincial. So you really think that me and the other Dark Elves are here to spy on you? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor Elves too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate them. You know, I don't quite appreciate your attitude that you're prohibiting towards me. Don't like it? Too bad. Our city. Ours. Don't think I can take it? 100 Septon say I can punch you back where you came from. You know, as much as I'd love to, let's say, as much as I would love to enjoy seeing your ignorance show, I've got way better things to do than mess with you. Pit bait. Whatever. Get out of my face. Gladly. Excuse me, ma'am. Dark elves, just what Windhelm needs. Oh, so you're also the same level of racist as this man. Great to see that I'm so welcomed here. So, I was wondering, can I buy a drink, or can us dark skins not even do that? Take a look. Oh, it's until it comes to business, it seems. Thank you. And then, if it isn't too much of a trouble, may I rent a room from you? See, it's just so interesting when things are about business, isn't it? So are there any news or rumors floating about? Here, take a look at this. 
Interesting. I'll take a look at that. But besides that, is there anything else going on? Elgin, you say? Well, I have no absolute clue where that is, so it's none of my business. Is that the only thing going on around here? Talk's been hearing some strange stuff coming from the Aretino place. Chanting. Talk is, little Aventus is trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. What does a little boy need with the Dark Brotherhood? But it's none of my worries. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Oh, really? I actually appreciate that after the level of racism that you and your friend there showed me. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. How can uh, Elsa hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Uh, I agree. I still can't believe Isabelle is gone. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh, of course, I will certainly. Well, not the worst room. Bed's nothing more than just a wooden pallet, some hay, and some fur. But the best that I can deal with. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Oh, this bed was not comfy at all. If anything gave me back problems, I'm going to have to go see a mage about. Ugh. Anyways, let's go see if there's anybody around here that knows anything about work. Because I'm going to need some sort of gold inflow if I'm going to be able to live. I think it was this way. Let's hear it. I have nothing to say to you. Nobody's stomping around out there, it sounds like. Uh, sure, here you go. Divines bless your kind heart. Of course. Come visit again sometime. Certainly. Wow, there's still a few people here, surprisingly. Oh. He looks like somebody that knows how to find some gold. Oh, um, excuse me. Do you mind if I sit there? No? Nothing? I'll just go ahead and take a seat. Sorry again to barge in like this. It's just, I don't know who else to go to. I don't have any other family. I just need some help. But if you know anywhere that could give you some work, give you know, something to earn some money, I'd be extremely grateful. Well, there's one place I would never probably know that could help you. His name is The Buyer. He lives over at the New Genesis Corner Club over in the Great Quarter. Um... Okay, where do you do you know where in the Great Quarter? Because I'm not quite sure what even the Great Quarter is exactly. I just arrived here today. Well, the New Genesis Corner Club is pretty much is all I know is in the Great Quarter. Anything past that beats me. I never go over there. Okay, well, I appreciate the help. I'm sure I can find it one way or another. By the way, my name's Malin. Do you mind if I know yours so I can potentially come ask you for anything else? Your name's Raven. Now leave me alone, kid. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. Well, I guess we better be heading off then. Thank you again for your help. I extremely appreciate it. Alright. So, somewhere in the Great Quarter. The new Genesis Corner Club. Okay, let's see. Well, the Great Quarter... That racist man was talking about seemed like where all the great, sorry, dark skins, or whatever he called us. I can't believe that people actually live like that. But I'm guessing it's it's probably that slums that I initially came to. So let's head back that way. It was, I think it was this way. Yes, because here's the houses. Let's head down this alleyway and see if this takes us back. Perfect. Okay, I'm starting to see some dark elves, so I think we're in the right area. Excuse me, dog. I'm sorry. Need something? Uh, no, thank you. What's going on? Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls the Palace. You see how we live? Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I speak well for Sula, 
but I make no promises that I can exchange for smuggling. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Uh, excuse me? I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I don't mean to barge in like this, but... What's the Great Quarter exactly? I just arrived here today. Well, yesterday, actually. Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Great Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. So, have you ever thought of moving to Morrowind? I'm personally from there. It's just I had to be exiled due to a few bad decisions. Not a day goes by that I don't think about returning to the ancestral home of my people. Still, even with the rough treatment we've had at the hands of Ulfric and his lot, we've got ties here. It's probably more trouble to pack up and leave than it is to stay. Besides, Amberus can't run the Corner Club on his own. Oh, so you work at the Corner Club. Do you mind if I follow you? Keep on your guard. This city can be a little rough for those such as us. Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna follow him. Make sure no one's behind me. I don't trust any of these Nords now that I know that half of them are racists. Is this really what the corner club looks like? Guess let's go in and check. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. That's close enough. You're not supposed to be in here. What's the problem, Amberis? Afraid I'll soil your precious bar stool? This is the last time I'll see it. Get out. Fine. If I didn't want any of your piss water anyway. Oh, excuse me. Welcome, brother. Please enjoy yourself. So, I just want to know, what's your opinion on how the Dark Elves are treated in Windhelm? Because so far, I've gotten a pretty good idea. Well, you see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill. Is what they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. I'll try to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor. But the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Interesting. So, why exactly are there so many Dark Elves here, exactly? Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road. And here we are. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. See, I just came from Morrowind, and it wasn't the worst. It was dealable if you had the right equipment, which most people now do. But why I came here is a totally different story compared to yours. But uh, do you mind me asking if you heard about anything going on recently? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. Well, I think that'll be it. Of course. Uh, do you mind if I just keep going up? Okay. Let's go check and see if we can find anyone that seems like a buyer. Interesting. Is this Imperial equipment? What is Imperial equipment doing? I'm so confused. Does Imperials hang out here? I'm not sure, but we'll just keep moving before anything gets messed with. Seems to be meeting with someone. I don't want to bother either men, so we'll just sit here and wait. We'll just kind of camp up here and act like we're busy. Not perfect, he's leaving. Excuse me, uh, do you mind if I sit? I would like to talk to him. 
about something. Well met. Uh, well met. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry to interrupt you when you seem to be enjoying a snack or dinner, whatever it may be to you. But I have some really important questions I'd like to ask you. Because I was referred to you by a potential mutual contact. And if you are who I think you are, I feel like I could be an asset to you. Well, what do you think I am? Well... I think you're the buyer. I don't know exactly what the buyer is or what he does. I've just heard a single story about you and that you're potentially able to help me out with some work. Well, isn't that quite a story? Listen here, kid. I'll be br brunt with you. Yes, I am the buyer. The only reason why I'm telling you this is because we are the same. We are both Dark Elves, stuck in the worst part of Skyrim. Now, here's the deal. What you're gonna have to do is anytime you come into possession of any sort of object, doesn't matter if it's a ring, sword, or even a pair of shoes. If you think it's valuable, but it certainly don't belong to you, bring it by, I'll give you what it's worth by a fraction of the gold. Does that sound like something you're interested in? Um, well, I, I, I guess so. I have a previous background of some illegal activity. Okay, kid. I don't know what exactly what that means because that sounds like you're trying to beef yourself up more than what you what you actually are. So listen here. Here's also part of the deal. Get caught. You do not come back here. You do not mention my name. Because after this point, I do not know you. Do you understand? Yes, I perfectly understand. And I think I'm capable of putting together what you want me to do. Then good. Now get out of here. Go get me some stuff. Otherwise, we have no more business. Okay. Uh, I will go fetch you some things. Alright, I'll be heading out now. Okay. So, I feel like I understand what I need to be doing. But do I really want to put myself in that kind of predicament? If I get caught, I don't know where else to go or what else to do. My parents already paid every single bit of septum they had in their savings to send me here to get away from everything. Do I really want to just disrespect what they've done for me? Before we leave, let me check out that letter that we got. Interesting. Alright, well, if I ever see this elf that looks like a Thalmor, then I will send it in. Excuse me. Well, fear not. Are you following me? I'm just gonna get drunk outside of a pub? Okay, well, it's night time, so obviously probably the best time for me to do something. Let's see if we can find somewhere of interest. Yes. Oh, excuse me. All right, yes, so we need to hurry this on. We don't want to burn any moonlight. Oh, excuse me. Need something? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> eh. Do it this way. Let's check out one of these houses that's up here. Everything's locked. Ooh, I should go ask that man if he knows if he has any lockpicks to sell me. Should have thought about that before I left the pub. I wonder what I was thinking. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, dog. I kidding. Thank you. Dog's in a very inconvenient place. You need anything, come see me. On in. You're stoked to fight. Uh, I just Thank need to head back upstairs real quick. I'm sorry, I forgot something. I wonder if he knows. What? I don't want to know. Hmm, you changed seats. Yes. What'll 
Do you have anything? Thank you. This is exactly what I was looking for. Buy all of them. Thank you. All right, then. All right. That should be helpful towards our cause. Hmm? All right. Let's go back up towards those houses and see if we can find anything. Not the best beginnings, but not everybody has humble beginnings. All right, let's start here. I don't think anyone's around. Darn, all right. I'm close. Not that time. Okay, I wasted some of the money. It could be worse. All right, you got very quiet. Seems to be a decent amount of okay looking stuff here. Is there anything else that seems worth? I don't think so. Let's keep working our way that way. Interesting. You're sleeping. Quick. Empty. Perfect. Chance it. Oh. Yeah, you're quick. I didn't mean to stumble there. Okay. I don't think he's chasing. We grabbed a few things. I should be fine for the first night. We don't want to push our Fuck. Uh, weren't you in the pub earlier? Yeah, what do you want? Um, I was just wondering, uh, something the matter? Because you kind of got kicked out pretty quickly. Damn right there is, but nothing a drink or two can't fix. So, why did the innkeeper kick you out? I guess the courier didn't send you the notice. It isn't just him who hates me, it's everyone in this city. My kind aren't welcome. What do you mean? Aren't you a Dunmer just like me, and the owner, and most of the patrons that walked in there? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm a bandit. I make my living off the backs of others, and people here resent me for it. Interesting. So, you're a bandit, and you're just easily walking into town. How can you do such thing? You're a wanted man, are you not? Not anymore. Got a pardon for killing a bandit chief. That's right, I'm not just a bandit. I'm a turncloak. You're a turncloak? That's right. Funny thing is, people treated me better when they thought I was just a bandit. But now I'm just one rung higher than a kinslayer. The absolute worst mortal kind has to offer. So why did you kill this bandit chief then? Why does a bandit do anything? Gold. The chief had a big mouth and told me things he probably shouldn't have. Like, for instance, the size of the bounty on his head. Most people think that's why I killed him. Those people don't know the half of it. Interesting. But why did you come to Windhelm if nobody wants you here? I'm looking for something. Two somethings, actually. And the inn's always a good place for rumors. At least, it used to be. But it's all right. I've got an idea of where they are already. 
where exactly are the items you're looking for. Well, that's the problem. They're in the cities, and it's hard for someone like me to walk around without being noticed. What I need is to get somebody to do the scouring for me. Someone who doesn't attract so much goddamn attention. What about you? You look friendly enough. Are you for hire? Potentially. Sure, why not? I'll help you. Great. First thing I need to make clear. It's not the people I'm after. It's the items they own. Books, to be precise. Of course, there's a catch. What's the catch? Well, for one, I don't know what the books are. I just know they're books, but that should be enough to go on. The first book I need is owned by a fence. Someone like that likely keeps the book in a safe. Second book is on an elf named Sordrin, greyskin like me. Knowing that, you don't need the titles. Get both books and I'll pay a bundle for both. I'll meet you at the Riften docks when you're done. Okay, I've never been to Riften, but I'm sure I can figure it out. But if I'm going to do any of this, I need to know what what makes these books so significant? Why are they important to you? If I told you that, you'd double cross me. Just know that they're worthless to pretty much anyone save me. Okay, so you're not going to tell me why you're looking for these things. I'm a bandit. I don't need a reason. You do if you want someone like me to help you who has no idea who you are, nor can they even trust you. Well, we'll see about that. Most adventurers I know just have one question. How much? They don't care who's paying. So, how do you know that the books are books, but you don't know the titles of the books? That seems kind of counterintuitive to your problem. If I knew that, I wouldn't need to go to all this trouble to find them. Now stop asking stupid questions. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep an eye out and see if I can find anything. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think uh, I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Thank you. I'll just be heading up. That dude was a freak outside. What kind of ba man turns bandit? Turns on bandit and then gets upset whenever he can no longer walk around. You would think people would be happy that they took care of a bandit problem. Uh, excuse me, man. I don't know, it just seems very odd to me. Something doesn't add up. Hopefully we'll figure out what it is. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I think I have a few things for you. Mm. That's fine by me. Thank you very much. All right then. Okay, we've made some decent starting cash. It's gonna certainly fall through pretty quickly. Oh, it may be too late. I don't want to scour these alleyways while these Nords are just pooching about. Probably, I'm sure, attacking a lot of the Dark Elves throughout the city. Let's we'll see if we can find a room here. I'm sure they'll let me rent one. Uh, excuse me. Welcome, brother. Please enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering if you had a room. No, you don't seem to be very well receptive to that question. Uh, I think I'll be just heading out. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Of course. Well, looks like we gotta walk all the way back to the other place. Let's hurry, cause I don't trust these alleyways. All right, here we go. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or make a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. 
Actually, I was wondering. So what's the news on the streets, Captain? The dark elves are uneasy. There's a killer on the streets, and Viola Giordano won't leave me alone. How would you like a drink? Oh, very much. Yes. Coming right up. Uh, excuse me. Maybe you should just move along. Uh, that's extremely rude, by the way. But I would like to rent another room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Uh, I, I'm good. Uh, I remember where it's at. Oh, you're persistent, aren't you? Of course. Here, we'll take something to ease our nerves. Should probably help us after this long day. Let's hope it's an easier night of sleep than last night. Uh, yeah, that wasn't much better of a night's sleep than the first night. Ugh, I can't wait to upgrade for get out of the city. Alright. We should probably head to that store that we saw originally those two men were discussing outside of. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be up in your face, I didn't realize you were right there. Ugh, it seems even with the sun out, still the cold doesn't get any better here. I sure do miss my homeland of Morrowind, but maybe one day I'll be able to go, go back. I believe this is the place. Let me know if you see anything you like. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. So, none of your goods are stolen. Not a single thing in here. That's extremely odd to point out that everything is legitimate in your store. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. So, you didn't necessarily steal the ring, but you have it. Well, I could try to return the ring for you if it's that big of a deal. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Okay. I'll look into it. So, who supplies the goods for your store? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Okay. Well, I would like to take a look at what you got. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm. The bandanas. Interesting. Um. I think I'll just take a set of your hide armor, because I'm sure it'll keep me warm. You have a decent amount of concoctions, I'm not going to lie. Your book collection seems a little weak, though. I believe that should be it. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. I won't. Well, I guess I'll have to change into my stuff later because I don't want to change out in the middle of the street. Let's see where this way leads. Because Viola sounds like a pretty uppity kind of name. She sounds like she's kind of ritzy, especially if she's looking for a ring so desperately. It's freezing though. The snowstorm picked up, of course. Let's try this way. Anywhere to go? 
Oh, let's see what's through here. Another back alleyway. Oh, excuse me. Be careful. Uh, I am careful. Rude. Okay, seems like we've hit the nice houses. Try this house first. It's locked. Let's wait a moment so we can see if the woman goes inside and this guard passes because we don't want to do anything suspicious. While we wait, let's change out of these clothes over here. Ah, much more comfortable. Alright, I think we're good. Crap, I only have one left. Let's go see if what's his name has any more, because otherwise we're screwed. It's quickly. It's too cold. I don't want to sit out here any longer. Where's this lead? Interesting. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Just need to squeeze by here. But this probably is true about this boy trying to actually contact the Dark Brotherhood. But who could a little boy want dead? It must be an extremely spiteful child if he wants to kill someone at such a young age. I forgot about that path. I'm sure it would have been quicker. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here uh, somewhere. I'm just gonna head upstairs again. I'm sorry. Sorry, right, we're in a rush. Excuse me. Need something. Don't seem to have any more. Hmm. Okay. All right then. All right. Well, we can always show the store next door. I don't remember if I saw any. Well, hello. How can I help? Yes. Something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. All right. Well, let's see if that's true. Take that ring back to Viola before we both get caught. Okay, but I need to see if you have any lot picks. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Interesting. Oh, you have some. I'll buy all of them. Thank you. Do come again. Certainly will. Okay. Let's quickly rush again. If I remember correctly, it should be this house on the left. Alright. Huh. It doesn't seem to be locked this time. It means she's home. We don't want to be suspicious about this. Hmm. Maybe we might be able to still sneak inside. Can I help you? Uh... Yes, actually, you can. I was wondering if you would be interested in buying some flowers. Yes, there is a little girl that tries to sell flowers in the Great Quarter, but she doesn't seem to have much business. 
So I was wondering, you know, to spice this place up a little bit, if you wanted to buy some. No? Okay, I'll just uh, be leaving now. Okay. Well, that was an extreme failure. Let's go sit at the tavern and wait. We'll wait till tonight. Is it this way? Don't tell me I'm in a graveyard. Oh, these things freak me out. I heard someone talking, but I can't tell who it was. Okay, let's check out the market, see if there's anything over here. Hmm. I don't really need any blacksmithing. This is all equipment. There's produce and meat. Hmm. The very aggressive salesman. Okay, yeah, I don't need any of this. Let's go ahead and hurry back to the tavern. Come on. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold up. Uh, I guess I'll go sit upstairs. Or not. Wow, it's packed. I'll just sit here in the corner. And I guess we'll just hang out here till tonight. Okay. I believe we've been here long enough. I've had so much to drink, I probably shouldn't do this anymore. Jeez, and the snowstorm's still blaring. At least it'll help cover us up during the night. Excuse me, I need to get somewhere. I'm so out of shape, I need to get better. Alright, it's locked. Perfect. Alright, I don't think anyone's around. There we go. While we're here, we'll see if we can snag a few things. Okay. Quiet. Okay, here, we'll just toss the ring in this dresser. It should just seem like it was misplaced. sure he's gonna be dead asleep but I'm sure he wants to be woken up for this come on we can make it it's so dark I'm gonna trip on these stairs Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I came in the wrong place. Snowstorm blinded me. I didn't realize I was going to the wrong place. Are you still awake? Hello? Oh, wait. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you. taking care of that? Little problem. Yes, I have placed Viola's ring back where it belongs. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here, everything I earned for my last shipment, it's yours. Thank you, I appreciate that. It was my pleasure, friend. Have a look around. I buy and sell just about anything. Uh, I'll come back another time. I will certainly do business with you again. Alright. 
Let's just stay the night. At least hang out for a while in the new Genesis Corner Club. Sure, I'll buy some drinks. Welcome, brother. Please enjoy yourself. I will. It's been a long day. Well, long two days, but I think I've earned it. I've got some nice coin to spend. Take a look. We'll get some bread to soak it up. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Of course. Alright. Let's enjoy a nice warm night by the fire. Well, I guess in this case, lantern. But beggars can't be choosers.